Hey guys, Kaylee here, and welcome back to the Honeystead. It's September here on the Honeystead, and this morning was one of the first cool mornings that we've gotten to experience. So come on and join me on this hive inspection. As a beekeeper in Virginia, we are creeping into September and with each month it brings a new chapter into your beekeeping experience. For this chapter of beekeeping, we're experiencing the flow. We've got goldenrod, we've got aster, we've got ragweed, clovers blooming again, and also tickweed. Our girls are really busy with producing honey that they're going to store throughout the rest of the winter. We determined that we're not going to do another harvest as we are gonna leave everything that we can for the rest of these girls because honestly, I still have buckets of honey that I still haven't bottled. So I'm okay with leaving them with what they need. So during the month of September here in Virginia, what's happening inside my hive is the colony is starting to decrease. The queen's egg production is starting to slow down. And unfortunately, our sweet, robust drones have gotten the boot, the majority of them. Don't be surprised if you actually still see a few drones that they might keep in the colony for a backup, just in case. These girls are busy, busy making honey. So far, looks good. They've got some more work to do, but that's okay. It's still early. So this one you can see the difference. You can see some capped brood and I see a good amount of larva. So that's a good, good sign. Can you see right there? That little young bee, she's all white and fuzzy. You can definitely tell the difference between brand new bees versus older bees. It's hard for you guys to see, but inside each cell it is beautiful larva. Nice, nice young eggs. I definitely enjoy getting, seeing all the young baby bees. And what I look for is I look for signs of my destruction. I look for wings that are deformed. I look for brood that's uncapped and has little holes in it. Now, when we did our mite counts back in August, all of our colonies did look pretty good. We did have to treat a few of them and we did the oxalic acid dribble method, but I try to keep a good eye on it. There are many forms of treatment that you guys could determine whether or not you want to do. This is your decision as a beekeeper. 
Some don't treat at all. We are selective. We will treat when needed and not when not needed. All new young egg. Looks really, really good. I'm gonna see if I can find this lovely queen. Yeah, sometimes we don't find her, and that's okay. I know she's in there. There's plenty of new egg, that is for sure. Look at that. These girls are absolutely fabulous. Check that brood pattern out. See the girl with the pollen? Look at that. Looks like she's got cheese puffs on her hand, on her back legs. You can see this, but look at that girl right there. She's coming out. Look at her. Ah, she just emerged.
see her? Gosh, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful blonde girl. So as she moves, watch the other bees around. Look, they're clearing the way and kind of letting her make her way. See that? See if she's gonna lay. She kind of looks like she's looking. She's looking for a cell that's gonna be empty. Isn't that phenomenal? She's absolutely beautiful. She slid down here. I bet she popped back over on the other side. We're gonna let her be for, we're gonna let her be. Now sometimes when I'm looking for the queen, you guys saw that I went through all of that, but then all of a sudden, I don't know if you guys could hear it on the camera or watch it, but I, I witnessed and heard a lot more activity from the bees over from this frame. And that's why I went back to pick it back up because I had a feeling that she was on there. So just by listening to the other bees, by hearing them, give me a heads up like, hey, our queen's over here, guys. You know, I don't want to disrupt them and I don't want to ruin their day. So I try to be gentle, but for me as a beekeeper, it's my job to steward them and make sure that the queen is doing what she's doing. Now, and I've, and I've shared in my past beekeeping videos before that I don't necessarily look for the queen, I look for signs of the queen. If I see a brand new egg, I know she's there. I'm not worrying. But now I lost her. <laughs> She's on here. I bet she's close to my hand because I'm, see how the girls, see how all the girls are going up to my hand? I guarantee you it's because my, the queen is over there. So I'm gonna be really gentle and I'm gonna be really careful because that's the one thing I don't wanna do is I don't wanna hurt her. So, let's see if I can find her. There she is again.
absolutely a beautiful colony. Completely stunning to see that gorgeous, gorgeous blonde queen. So I have a very sweet young lady who has been enjoying our videos all the way over in New Jersey. Her name is Kayla and this beekeeping video is for you Miss Kayla. Now I found out that your favorite color is rainbow and because your favorite color is rainbow I'm going to send you just a little bit of our rainbow from here on the honey stud. Behind me is a beautiful collection of zinnia flowers and they are all different colors just like the rainbow. So keep an eye out in the mail, Miss Kayla, because you're gonna be able to plant your own zinnia flowers. And guess what? You'll be able to see honeybees come to your own zinnia flowers. And you, and you, my dear, can help keep the bees and make sure that they have beautiful flowers just like the rainbow to lay on. But out of all of my zinnia flowers, I think this color is probably my favorite one. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. <laughs>